Welcome to Prayer Guide, the February edition, which is simply for families and for relationships, for your children. It's for the entire household. So today is going to be a unique one. Um, this month is going to be a unique one. It's going to be a prayer guide, declarations, just for family. So gather your whole household together. Uh, my wife is here with me, and we're going to decree a thing concerning the household, and you guys will follow after us, and you'll, st and you'll pray this. And you can pray this every day. You can pray this once a week, a couple of times a week, a couple of times a month. You can use it consistently. In fact, I encourage you to use it consistently because the blessings of the Lord will take place when you decree a thing and it shall be established. So before we go anywhere, we want to look at a scripture that consists of the theme for the month, the love month, the relationship month, the family month, and that scripture is Genesis chapter 18, verse 17 to 19, and I read it. It says, And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? Since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I have known him in order that he may command his children and his household after him that they keep the way of the Lord to do righteous and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. Notice the part that says, for I have known him. Right? I have known him. So he's saying that I know Abraham. I chose Abraham because I know this man. And what does he know this man to be like? God didn't just randomly pick Abraham. He picked him for a reason. Mothers, fathers, God chose you for a reason. What is that reason for Abraham? It says here, he knew that in order that he may command his children and his household after him. In other words, Abraham would make sure his children follow what he follows. His entire household knows the Lord. If Abraham is following the Lord, he makes sure his children are following the Lord. That's why God chose Abraham, because Abraham is a man who would make sure his entire family will know the Lord. The generation after him will know the Lord. His children's children will know the Lord. Yes. That's what God desires from fathers, from mothers, for husbands, for wives, for grandparents, all together. Siblings, the whole household. God says he has chosen us so that we can command our children, our family members, after us. So we're going to do a prayer guide today, and we're going to decree and declare. So gather everybody in your family, even if they're not part of your family, gather them. And you can use this every day, as we said, right? You can use this every day. Um, and we're going to decree it together. So me and my wife are going to decree it together. So if your husband or wife, you can decree it together. If you have your children, bring them in, even if they're too young. It's okay. Decree it for them, but while you guys are all together. And then you can use it every so often. All right? So we're gonna, what we're going to read from, you're not going to be able to see what we're doing. We personalize it to customize it in a way where we can personalize it for us. The same way you can use it for yourself. But we're going to be looking at Deuteronomy chapter 28 from all the way from verse uh, 3 to verse, all the way to verse 14. All right? So let's say it together, and then we're going to decree other things for our families, um, for our spouses, for the families of our nation. All right? Of our community. All right, let's get into it. Let us decree. Let us declare. And just repeat after us. After we say it, you say it. Amen? Amen. Blessed shall, shall we be in the city, and blessed shall we be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of our body, the produce 
of our ground and the increase of our herds, the increase of our cattle and the offspring of our flocks. Blessed shall be our basket and our kneading bowl. Blessed shall we be when we come in and blessed shall we be when we go out. The Lord will cause our enemies who rise against us to be defeated before our faces. They shall come out against us one way and flee before us seven ways. Amen. Amen. The Lord will command the blessings on us in our storehouses and in all to which you set your hands. And he will bless us in the land which the Lord our God is giving us. The Lord will establish us as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to us. If we keep the commandment of the Lord our God and walk in his ways, then all peoples of the earth shall see that we are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of us. And the Lord will grant us plenty of goods in the fruit of our body, in the increase of our livestock, and in the produce of our ground in the land of which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. The Lord will open to us his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain to our land in its season and to bless all the work of our hands. Amen. Amen. We, we shall lend to, to many nations, but we shall not borrow. And, and the Lord will make us the head and not the tail. We shall be above only and not beneath. If we heed the commandments of the Lord our God, which he commands us today, and are careful to observe them, so we shall not turn aside from any of the words which you command us this day to the right or the, to the left, left to go after other gods to serve them. them. Amen. Amen. Let's decree another one and repeat after us. We, we declare, declare that the ruined families are being restored, restored and in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Those that, Those that have, have been desolate and being built up. The devastated are being renewed in the way of the Lord. We, we declare that the solitary will be placed in families. The Lord gives the desolate a home in which to dwell. He leads the prisoners out to prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a parched land. 
In, in Jesus' name, we declare healing and wholeness to those who have been used and abused by family members. We declare that those family members who do not know you, that their eyes and ears will open to know you. Reveal yourself to them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. From my family to your family, it is important to repeat this as often as you can. Put it as a reminder on your phone that we should do the family declarations together. Whether it's once a week, whether it's every day, whether it's a couple of times a month. Make sure it is a custom. Because what you decree, it shall be established. If you decree, if you decree negative, demonic, evil things, that's exactly what's going to happen. But if you decree and declare heavenly things, the Bible says what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. What you loose on earth Amen. shall be loosed in heaven in the name of Jesus. But before you leave us, please, if you are not following us on Facebook or Instagram, follow us there at ANFGC Cambridge. ANFGC Cambridge both on our Facebook and our Instagram. We also have a website, www.anfgccambridge.org, where you can find all the information concerning us. Of course, you can watch any of our other videos. There's a lot of them. There's more. The question of the month. There's more prayer guides. Um, whatever you want to observe, any content you want to know that we have, you go to our YouTube channel. It's easy, first and foremost. All you have to do is just subscribe. Press that subscription button, press it right now, that bell notification sign, and you get to see all our content, all right? Of course, before you leave this place, we want to tell you about our service. It's 1 p.m. every Sunday, Eastern Time, 1 p.m. every Sunday, Eastern Time. Please, like this video, comment on this video, share this video, subscribe to this video. Thank you for participating. Until next time, God wish you bless you. May you have a blessed rest of your day.